completes the bronze medal action in the 53 kilograms. We're now into the final. And what a final we have for you to share with us. It's going to be very entertaining. Indeed. We have Japan and Sweden, and it's not just any athlete from Japan. This woman here, Saori Yoshida, three times Olympic champion against Sofia Matson herself, a world champion in her own right. But she knows it's going to be a massive task here for her to manage to succeed. The poignant moments for Saori Yoshida. She makes a bow here in reference to Ikatsu Yoshida, her father, who passed away. There's the photograph of her father, Ikatsu Yoshida, who was her coach, passed away this year. So, competing in tribute to him and in tribute to her, Danielle. We don't even have enough time to list uh, all of her titles. Uh, 11 World Championship titles and three Olympic medal, two Olympic champion titles. And there's her father, Ikatsu there's Yoshida. A yes. Nice tribute, all about respect. In respect to Yoshida, but Matson will have dismayed all of that and disputed all of that because she wants this world championship crown. She wants to be two times world champion. And she's gone out very aggressively. She's just observing the reaction of the Swedish. Of course, you know, being in the front of a big champion like that, you know, uh, it's impressive. The, she lost already to Yoshida in the Olympic Games and the last world. Uh, Matisson, so... Yeah, they know each other. They know each other, but uh, Matisson know uh, more than anybody else that it's going to be very hard to... Uh, our job to with the Swiss referee here. And that's it. First attack. One point. Sara Yoshida, 32 years old. She's certainly got the experience advantage and to have an athletic resume like that. Triple Olympic champion 11 times World Championships, and this would be 184 consecutive victories if she wins this one here. Wow. <laughs> Even I can tell you that's good. That is, she's on his way to do it. Yeah. Looking good so far for Yoshida. But don't write off Matson, of course. There's a new coach, Kasuhita Sakai. But Matson, of course, as we know, is a world champion in her own right. She's going to have to summon up all of her courage and strength here. She's keeping the score low, which is good for her. But you can see on her face, Danielle, and she's it, really concentrating. Yeah, and she's in a lower class than the class it was, uh, and white class that she was before she used to be. We saw the world champion yesterday, the younger uh, lady, and re replaced her in the white category, and she go down. And oh, she's dieting down. Yes. So let's see how she she, she doesn't look like uh, power, powerful uh, as she was in the upper weight category. For me. But what but does she, she think? Let's see. She, she's still leading. <laughs> yep. She still got it. She's still one point to the good. No one point, no turn from Madison. Matson just keeping the score low. Trying to subdue the confidence of Yoshida. She doesn't want to give this World Championship final away. So just taking her time, just changing the angle of attack, circling around the mat. Not very productive this first period. The Swedish is she's not attacking at all. Yep, hesitating. But understandable given the quality of the wrestler you're up against, but sometimes it's is it good to just keep the score low and try to go for it in the second round? Does it make any difference? Yeah, it's easy to score points and uh, to go on uh, ahead if you have uh, only one point, uh, you're one point back on the score. Uh, of course, you can, if you can score a takedown, it will be zero. But let's see now. 
We have a lot of uh, fun, Japanese fun here. Of course. We appreciate the announcement. Well, trying to make yet more history here in wrestling. This is Yoshida. 53 kilogram final against Matson, Sweden and Japan. As you can see, it's the Swede that's got to try and find the answers here. And she's going for it. She's trying to be a bit more aggressive in this one. On the move. Yeah, that's it now. But she don't, she don't go through. She doesn't look uh, very confident here. She don't go through. Matson doesn't go through or Yoshida doesn't go through? Yoshida. Yoshida. Uh, Matson from the beginning, she don't go through. But uh, I'm talking about Yoshida for, for this bout, you know. She, maybe she's tired from the, the other bout of the day. It's possible. Yeah, absolutely. She's getting a little bit older now. Yeah, for sure. That can, no, that can make a big difference. And maybe Matson's trying to keep the match close for as long as possible, run down the clock, and she's done so here. The, the 30 seconds warning against Yoshida, who now has yeah. to score. If she doesn't, Matson puts herself in pole no. position. No, she will attack. And sweep the leg, probably. No, just trying to push outside. You see, she's not... It shows that she's not very secure. Sure. She's because doing enough. Normally, she will do that right in the middle of the, bat, the mat. I think we've seen and a challenge do... there, because four points were added for oh, a throw no. and it looked just like one for a push out there so the Swedish coach quite within his rights to uh, have at, a look at this at least it should be maybe two points but not uh, no more than that well, I think it was four given as a throw but no, that looks uh, yeah, she, was in dan she was in danger before to to get out so they will probably get two points but no more than that you see she fall down the, the butt fall down in the, in the red zone they keep yeah uh, Plus the point for the field. Oh, they, they decide to keep the scoring? Yeah, they kept the four points and then added the, the penalty point yeah. for the lost yeah. challenge. So they obviously deemed that there was a throw, that she was in danger. And Yoshida now, well, she's certainly in no danger. Matson has a massive mountain to climb here. Will it be a fourth? <laughs> I missed something, I believe. <laughs> because <laughs> for Four points for the throw, one point for the failed challenge, and Matson has it all to do now. Yoshida, of course, has the pedigree, has the history. She's got all that experience. And as we said, dedicating it to her father, Ikatsu Yoshida. So poignant times for her. She's got to focus, so still a minute left. But there can only be one winner now, Danielle, it looks like. Matson trying to find answers, no, but no way it's not easy. Her, no, no, she, 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 she don't find any angle to ready to attack. Uh, well, no shortage of determination from the Swede. She's certainly going for it, trying to grab and claw her way inside, but Saru Yoshida look. It's, uh, for me, it's a disappointing match. It's a disappointing bout for from this uh, great champion. She, she take a minimum of risk, okay, she want to win, that's it. She just want to win. Well, the champion's getting it done here. Saori Yoshida on the verge of 184 consecutive wins. Matson tries to shoot yeah. to the mat, but well defended by Japan. Saori Yoshida, 11 world championship titles. Will it be 12? She's got Matson in trouble again. But she turn around and uh, she face again the well, she's going to the kill Swedish. the clock here. Three yeah, seconds. Matson stuck to the mat. Yoshida grabs the gold, grabs glory yet again. And she'll be absolutely delighted with that one. 184 wins in a row at the World Championship and Olympic level. The champion gets it done. Matson gave it all she had, but she was forced to the mat once too often. It's a great silver for the Swede. Glorious gold, yet again for Japan. Yes, that's uh, okay. She, she doesn't. She, she's a great champion anyway. Uh, there was not a really spectacular uh, bout, but she's a great champion. You see, once she decided to attack, she she scored. But she didn't. She didn't try that much. 
Well, that's always the hallmark of champions, doing just enough to get it done. And she writes her name even deeper into the record books now. Saori Yoshida. That's and she's a, going to get the photograph of her father here. That's her uh, 12 World Championship title, huh? Fantastic. 12. That's not not bad at all for this young lady. And, and you know that there are no championships the year of the Olympics. So sure. can you believe the duration of the performance? Fantastic career, fantastic longevity. And a fitting tribute for her. Well, that completes the 53 kilogram gold medal contest.